The mask assembly and the stowage box are installed adjacent to each crew member's seat. The stowage box, which contains the mask, also controls the flow of oxygen when the mask is pulled out of the box. To use the mask, squeeze the red clips, which will inflate the mask harness. Releasing the red clips will stop oxygen flow to the harness and vent the oxygen remaining in the harness to the atmosphere. Oxygen flow is indicated by the blinker showing yellow and an oxy-on flag which appears on the left door when closed. The mask regulator provides either normal or pure oxygen by means of a normal 100% selector. In the normal position, the user breathes a mixture of cabin air and oxygen. When the selector is in the 100% position, the user will breathe pure oxygen. When the emergency rotation knob is rotated and the normal 100% selector is in the 100% position, the mask regulator supplies pure oxygen at a permanent positive pressure. To take the mask off, the harness has to be inflated. This is done by operating the red clips. Restowing the mask. Proper stowing is essential for quick and efficient donning of the mask. Open the stowage box doors and position the flexible hose correctly. Engage the mask assembly, regulator on top. Close the left flap door carefully while pushing the reset test slider to retract the oxy on flag. At the end of the restowing operation, do the in situ testing. In situ test. The reset test. The blinker turns yellow and goes black again, showing that the regulator is leak tight. Press the harness inflation control. The blinker turns yellow and goes black again, showing that the harness is leak tight. The on demand system is tested by pressing the emergency rotation knob. The microphone is tested activating the loudspeakers, the interphone, and by pressing the emergency rotation knob. When the previous tests are completed, make sure that the normal 100% selector is locked in the 100% position, and the reset test slider returns to the up position.